How does it feel to be here tonight and nominated for this award? Couldn't be happier, you know, and to see um, the wonder being celebrated in the context of British independent film. I'm deeply honoured and what amazing films have been nominated. And for people who aren't familiar with the story, can you just tell us what they can expect if they watch the, the film? Sure, The Wonder is quite a psychological thriller about a nurse brought to Ireland to uh, assess whether a girl is living without food. So it's a historical piece, but it couldn't be more w relevant to today's world of eating disorders and religious fundamentalism and fundamental clashes about the nature of truth. So I'm thrilled to be here. I mean, having Sebastian Elio directing, Florence Pugh in the leading role, all these other fantastic people, what was it like seeing your story come to life? Well, it's impossible for me to picture the characters in my novel in any way differently now. You know, now they, now they bear the faces of people like Keela Lord Cassidy, you know. So visually speaking, my own memories of the story I wrote as a novel have just been completely erased by the beauties of the wonder as a film. And Florence Pugh, I mean, rightly so. She's just one of these actresses that just seems to go from strength to strength and just continues to blow people away. Um, what do you think that's so special about her? Well, this is going to sound odd, but she just works incredibly hard. I mean, I just saw her tirelessly, you know, in the little wooden heels and the corset in those Irish villages, just put in the time and the intelligence and the thought. On day one, she said, can I use a Yorkshire accent? You know, she was, she was putting so much thought and research into this role and it really has paid off and it made her so wonderful to work with and set a great tone for, for the entire production. And as you we were mentioning there at the beginning, you know, lots of really interesting themes, but also the way Sebastian put it together also has something to say about storytelling, you know, the kind of the opening and closing, like, lets us know that this is a story being told. Um, so, so what do you think the importance of that was in particular? I think he picked up on, on something very meta in the book, which is that it's about a nurse being called to assess a situation and she has to take notes on everything and she has to come up with a plausible version of what's happening. So the story is all about competing interpretations. Um, and again, that gives it a very modern feel because it may be you know, 19th century content, but it's all about spin and the, and the clashing interpretations of religious and non-religious worldviews. And also just feels like a very female-centric story. And it's almost these different women at different stages of their life. There's kind of a triangle going on there. That feels very exciting that we are getting more and more opportunities to explore all these really nuanced and interesting female experiences and relationships. We are. You see something like Elaine Cassidy, extraordinary in this role of the girl's mother, where, you know, she's, she's horrifying in many ways, but she acted with such conviction that you absolutely sympathize with her even when she makes inexplicable choices. So, yeah, I think there's... A uh, you know, the, the parts available for women these days are so much better than they used to be. And by working with Sebastian Lelio, we knew we were going to get a resolutely female-centered film, and it's fantastic. All right, thanks so much for chatting to us. Really enjoy the night, and best of luck. Thanks a lot.